Welcome back. Would it surprise you to learn that more than 40 million Americans are using dating apps to find love? And sadly, experts say for many, these romantic encounters are not all candy and roses. Dating apps can also become facilitators for scams, even assaults. Local professional matchmaker Melissa Edda is with us, and she is with It's Just Lunch. She's joining us now to share some of these precautions for online daters. Hey, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm not single. I'm definitely married, but there are a lot of people who are on these sites and we got to let them know what they need to know, uh, what they need to be aware of. So what are some of the big problems you see out there when it comes to these quote, romance scams? Yes, definitely. So unfortunately, they're a growing problem, especially for online daters. Uh, government officials said that nearly 70,000 people fell victim to romance scams last year, and it cost them more than $1 billion. So well, how does this happen? it's super yeah, so it's super important that singles who use apps and sites, uh, you know, are on the lookout for the warning signs and just really how to avoid them. Well, yeah, how does this happen to people? What are are they ignoring the warning signs? So they're just they're they're new um, you know things that people are doing like as far as like con artists go. So forget that overseas prince who wants singles to wire him money. <laughs> uh, now the con artists are targeting daters with the crypto romance scams. So what this is is online scammers are reaching out via apps, uh, text messages, and you know they're just trying to strike up a conversation. Then they'll encourage singles to invest in crypto through like their sites and the accounts. Once you get the um, you send them their money. Money, then they disappear. So um, it's really unfortunate. Another is through sextortion. So yes, this is becoming um, a big thing. It's huge, unfortunately. So this is another way for scammers to trick daters, um, you know, into into um, you know scams. So what they're doing is they're sexting with them, and then when the scammers, um, you know, get what they want, then they'll threaten and distribute these compromising photos and videos, and uh, they make you give them their money. So it's really, really unfortunate. So if you're on one of these sites and you kind of feel that you're in the middle of a scam, what do you do at that point? Do you report it to police? Who do you report it to? And is it any good to even bother reporting it to the uh, site? What can they do? Definitely. So uh, I would definitely report it to the police, and then just based on you know whatever site or app you're on, definitely reach out to them as well, so that they can try to get them reported and you know um, you know taken off the site. So. Another way is through uh, the fake sites. So there's been a big jump in the number of uh, fake dating sites uh, over the past couple of years. So what they do is they create a fake site. They ask you to pay for a membership, but it's really only designed to get like your personal information and money yeah. from you know the people who who sign up for them. Unfortunately, yeah. you really have to be careful about what you put out there for others to use against you. Well, professional matchmaker Melissa Edda with It's Just Lunch. Want to thank you for your tips this morning. We got to keep people safe out there. Yes. Thank you for having me. All right. Thank you, Melissa.